Hello children, welcome to the class. Children, we will start textbook activity for lesson 4, that is the shadow lesson. Okay, children, first what they have given in your textbook? They started with the prefix. Right, now what do you mean by prefix? Prefix is a group of letters. Prefix is a group of letters added before a word to change its meaning and form a new word. So what do you mean by prefix? Prefix is a group of letters added before the word, okay, to give a new meaning, okay, to give new meaning and to form a new word, okay, understood? For example, see this plus approval, disapprove, uh, this plus approve, disapprove here, D approve, approve is a word, approve means to accept, so when we add prefix this, so here this, is prefix, it is added before the word. The word, a group of letters added before the word. Okay. And it changes its meaning and form new word. Here, approve means to accept. And we add prefix this to the word, then it becomes disapprove. Here, disapprove means not accepting. So here, the word is completely changing at the end. It is giving a new word. Right, opposite of approve is disapprove. So you are understood children. You have in the group of letters added to the word. Okay, to change its meaning and to form a new word. Okay, next. Un plus like, unlike. Here un is a prefix. Here un is the prefix added to the word like. Okay, and it changes its meaning and gives completely a new word unlike. Okay, understood children? A prefix means a group of letters added before the word to change its meanings and to form a new word is known as prefix. Okay, now suffix. What do you mean by suffix? Suffix is a group of letters added after the word. Okay, added after the word to change its meaning and to form a new word. Understood? Prefix means before adding the word. A group of letters before the word. Suffix is adding a group of letters after the word. Okay. Now for example, here thought plus full, thoughtful here. Here, here full is suffix. It is added after the word. Okay. Full is added after the word. Okay. So thought plus full, thoughtful. Okay. Now friend plus ship, friendship. Here ship is the suffix, it is added after the word friend. Okay, understood? A suffix is a group of letters added after a word to change its meaning and to form a new word. Okay, prefix means a group of letters added before the word. Okay, to form a new word. A suffix is added after the word. Okay, understood? Now next, according to or the prefix and suffix, they have given an activity in your textbook. Okay, ye mean, what they have given? They have given add prefix or suffix. Children, I hope you have understood the definition or understood the meaning of prefix and suffix. Right, prefix means adding before the word. Okay, suffix means adding after the word. So here they have given an activity. We have to add prefix or suffix to the word. Now first one. Dash plus obey. Okay, here which prefix we have to use? Dash plus obey and we have to make a new word. Okay, dash plus obey. This plus obey, disobey. This plus obey. Disobey. Okay, use plus dash is equal to new word. Use plus the suffix. Okay, after the word. Then use plus full is equal to useful. Okay, use plus suffix full is new word, useful. Or you can use, write it as use plus less. Okay, use plus less is equal to use less. That is also you can write. Okay, now next. Dash plus well is equal to a new word. Okay. 
अन प्लस वेल इज इक्वल टू अनवेल आई एम अनवेल टूडे आई एम नॉट फीलिंग वेल ओके अनवेल ओके नेक्स्ट केयर प्लस डैश इज इक्वल टू न न्यू वर्ड केयर प्लस लेस इज इक्वल टू केयरलेस केयर प्लस सफिक्स लेस इज इक्वल टू न्यू वर्ड केयरलेस और एल्स यू कैन राइट इट एस केयर प्लस फुल ओके इज इक्वल टू केयरफुल Did you understand, children? Yes, I hope you have understand. Uh, sorry, I hope you have understood. We'll move on to the next. Okay, okay. So the next fifth one here. Dash plus lucky is equal to a new word. Which prefix we have to use? Un. Un plus lucky is equal to unlucky. Now next, peace plus. Dash. Okay, now P P plus full is equal to peaceful. Next dash plus tidy. Your un is a prefix. Un plus tidy, untidy. Okay. Next dash plus peace. Un plus peace, unpleased. Okay, understood, children. Prefix and suffix. I hope you have understood. And next main is also same thing. Okay, we have to add prefix or suffix to the given word. Okay, the first one. Here, what they have given first one. He was a dash on that chair. Comfortable is a word. So we have to add prefix or suffix. What can we add for comfortable? Okay, we can add. Prefix. Okay. Now, which prefix we have to use? Uncomfortable. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay. Next, second one. She was glad that she was dash in passing her exam. Success. Okay. She was glad. Glad means here happy. So she was. Happy that she was dash in passing her exam. Success. Do we have to add prefix or suffix to the word success? We have to add suck. Uh, okay, so we have to add suffix. Now, what is that suffix? Success. Successful. So she was glad that she was successful. S U. Successful. We have added suffix. Full here. Okay, she was very glad that she uh, she was successful in passing her exam. The third one. Mother was very dash to see that he had broken the window. Happy. So mother was very sad. Okay, happy is the word. So do we have to add prefix or suffix, children? Yes, we have to add prefix. Okay. What is that prefix? Unhappy. So mother was unhappy because he had broken the window. Now fourth one. I don't. I don't. Uh, sorry, I do not think this is correct. I dash with you. Agree is the word. So which uh, we have to use? Is it prefix or suffix? We have to use prefix. So I don't think this is right. I disagree. Disagree with you. The fifth one. She lost the match, but everybody praised her for her dash. Fourth man. So we have to add. Do we have to add prefix or suffix, children? Here we have to add suffix. Okay. She lost the match, but everybody praised for her sportsmanship. Okay, she lost the match, but she was praised for her sportsmanship. Okay, now next is pronunciation. So for pronunciation, they have given here C H, C K, and S H sounds. Okay, now repeat these sentences after your teacher. 
focus on the sound made by the letters C H C K and S H. The first one. Children exchange exchange chairs with each other. Yeah, which sound we learn? Yeah, we learn C H sound. Okay. Now second one. The chemist shop is next to the school. Here we learn the C H S H and C H word. Chemist shop and school. Okay. The third one. Dexter was a funny character in the play who always ran after the echo of his own voice. Here, ch character and echo, ch sound we have learned. Now, Shara was shocked, so he rushed towards his house. Now, here in this sentence we learned the sh sound. The boy ran with a thick stick in his hand. After the folk of birds here, C K sound, K sound, thick and stick. Here there were six black ducks in the pond. Here ducks, C K, K sound, duck and black, K sound. Okay. Now circle the odd one out. One has been done for you. Here the sounds what we have learnt is Ch sound and K sound and Sure sound, right? C H C K N S H sound. So here, yeah, based on these sounds, they have given an activity. So here yeah, we have to circle the odd one out. One has been done for you. The first one we will see how they have done. Each echo, chase, approach, chant. Here echo they have underlined as the odd word. Why? Because see each. Ch, chase, ch sound, approach, ch sound, chant, see, ch sound here, echo, k sound. So they have underlined the odd one. Okay, understood now. Now next second one. Okay, here. B mean second one. Yes, school, chemical, character, chair, and echo. So here, yeah, I'll read out the words once again. School, chemical, character, chair and echo. So which is the odd one here, odd word here? Yeah, school. Okay. School. School is odd word. Now third one. Shara, shot. Scale, rushed, friendship. Yeah, which word is odd one? Shara, shock. Shara sound, scale, rushed. Shara sound, friendship. Shara sound. Yeah, scale is the other word. It is the odd one. So here the third answer is scale. Understood children how to find the odd one? The fourth one. Stick, flock, flip, thick, stock. So I'll read out the word. Stick, flock, flip, thick, stock. Yeah, which word is odd word? Yes, flip is the odd word. Why? Because the other words are ending with k sound. Stick, k, flock, k sound, thick. K sound, stock, K sound. Here flip, here this odd one. Okay, for this flip. Fifth last word. Attack, knock, thank, tick, black. Attack, K. Knock, thank, tick, black. Here which word is odd word? Yes, thank is the odd word. Okay. Here, rest of the word uh, ends with K sound here. N K sound. K thank. N K sound. So, thank is the odd word. Children, did you understand? I hope you have understood the sounds. Next, we will move on to the next main. Okay. Children, next topic is possessive adjectives. 
right in last class we learned about uh, what are adjectives uh, pronouns and un under pronouns we have learned personal pronouns and possessive pronouns okay just uh, before starting the possessive adjectives we will understand what do you mean by adjective and what are pronouns okay now adjectives what are adjectives words that describe nouns or pronouns okay adjective means the word which describes a noun or pronoun okay, which is extra meaning for example see orange butterfly okay see here orange is an adjective because it is telling about butterfly how the butterfly is or what the what the color of the butterfly is it is orange color so here the word that describe the noun or pronoun is known as adjective okay understood and next example see i am scared of watching horror movies i am scared of watching horror movies here scared is an adjective because here it is describing or describing the noun or pronoun i okay see i am scared okay i am scared of watching horror movies here it is describing okay and the children adjectives means words that describe the noun or pronouns are known as adjectives okay now next is pronoun now what do you mean by pronouns children pronouns are the words that takes place of nouns right instead of telling a particular name of a person place animals or things we can use i me you your ourselves okay mine he she it okay so here pronouns are the words that takes place of nouns like okay for example i me you you are yourself my mine he she and it and the uh, pronouns we have personal pronouns and possessive pronouns okay personal pronouns are first person singular second person singular plural third person singular plural like i me okay it she his her they them okay this is personal pronoun now possessive pronoun possessive pronoun means which tells about ourselves which gives importance to ourselves like my mine you your their okay these are possessive pronouns okay understood children what do you mean by adjectives and pronouns and among pronouns personal pronouns and possessive pronouns i hope you have understood next we will move on to the topic that is possessive adjectives what do you mean possessive adjectives possessive adjectives is usually used to describe a noun and it comes before the noun in a sentence like other adjectives a possessive adjective is usually it is used to describe a noun okay and it comes before the noun it comes before the noun in a sentence like other adjectives see for example see varun varun car is blue okay mine is red your mine is possessive adjective here instead of my car is red here we have used mine is red okay children in next example children in next example my car is faster than his car okay here my and his are possessive adjectives and it is placed before the noun did you understand children what do you mean by possessive adjective possessive adjective is usually used to describe a noun okay is used to describe a noun and it comes before the noun in a sentence so here my car is faster than his car here car is noun so here my and his is possessive adjectives it is coming before the noun in a sentence okay did you understand children yes i hope you have understood the meaning of possessive adjectives among in that adjectives pronoun among pronouns personal pronoun possessive pronoun and possessive adjectives in next class we will start with the activity based on possessive adjectives thank you children